Hello, people of YouTube. How are you all bloody doing? I'm Game of Madness. You may call me Madness if you so do wish. And welcome back to my Rome 2 Let's Play as Egypt. In the last episode, we managed to lose Dura, but successfully defend Tyrus. Now, in this episode, I plan on taking back Dura, and if we're lucky, either uh, Hat Hatra, Hatra, this city right here, or maybe Antioch. Um. Yes, and how this is gonna work is that I will push this army right here. Uh, no, actually, I'll keep it in. Didn't even need to move it out. Yes, it's true. I will build a new general. Say him. I'll put him in... Spears. And I'll just give him a little bit of something. Not much. Just a little bit so we can hold off... Uh, small armies which is all they have here so we can move our big army out which is right here and maybe go for Antioch but I don't know how it's gonna pan out just yet army right here the lead army we're building still waiting for the barracks to come up we will have to build well I guess we actually need archers don't we so we can start off by getting out of that formation going in here and getting a few archers can always do that. Just three should be enough. We're doing quite good on food. Yes, we are. Not new if I upgrade. Right. And actually, I have kind of forgotten to talk a bit about the, uh, what's the names? You know, spies and heroes and, um, merchants or noble women, noble men uh, in this game. Because I like them a lot. I like the spy. Uh, I mainly use him, as, as you see I'm doing now, by trying to poison the armies and maybe even stop them from moving. Uh, which can be obviously both be used defensive-wise and offensive-wise, which is uh, right, what we saw right here was, would be defensive-wise. I don't want them to move into my land, so I made them stop moving. See, this is where they can move the next turn. Until here, because we successfully pushed their provisions. And I tend to uh, choose poison provisions just for the fact that it cripples some of their units which also gives me an advantage uh, should it come to battle now the heroes I actually like them but the limitation of them is that if you don't use a um, more turns per year mud they will die off really fast and thus never really get good which would uh, well which is annoying it's, so I, I'm I personally am using a 12 turn per year mod, uh, just as they had in um, Shogun 2, for the Samurai at least. I think in the Shogun 2 they didn't, it was more like 6 turns a year, 4 turns a year, something if I remember correctly. But uh, I tend to lean towards 12 turns per year, thus uh, I can also create more of a personal feel about my generals and my armies. Oh yes, and this army shall be renamed. Where do I do this? Here we go. The defenders of. Come on, can I do this? No, one letter shot. Are you kidding? Oh my god. Then I don't know what to call them. Uh. What should it be then? Might it just be defenders of. YouTube. Oh. Oh, it was true. There we go. We have ourselves a new army. So hopefully this army will see action. Well, it will. Most certainly, actually. Right. And then turn. And then turn it Dean. So, the plan is to use the uh, defenders of YouTube, which is our new army in Syria right here. No, we don't. We don't want peace. We don't want people to do this. We're already at war and we're winning. Peace is not now. So what I'm hoping uh, to do with this army is obviously take back uh, Dura. And um, just so I can get to use the fear army again because I really like using it. I might not be the best at it but the more you do it the better you get right? 
And also, we should kind of look north pretty soon. We could go all the way down, like, in the southeast and uh, take all of that to clear our backs. But I think it would make for a more interesting campaign if we didn't. Yeah, to get up to fight some of the uh, barbarian factions or maybe even the Romans if they're still alive. Oh, we could try to go the other way around. Like, go west down the coast of Africa and then up into Spain. But, uh, I haven't really decided, and there's nothing that will be decided this episode, so if you do have a uh, opinion on what I, what my next move should be, please make sure to let me know. Because, uh, why not mix it up and do something that you don't always do, you know? Right, we're gonna... What do they have out here in the seas? We can't really see, so yeah. I think we're gonna move this army away. Over here. Stop hiring for a second and go in here. I can't really get any good infantry to hold anyone off. So I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna do this. That will have uh, well hindered my income. But um, for now it will have to do. It surely will. We go back here and we hire... Actually, let's not use siege weapons as the lead army. Let's make it a uh, siege army, siege focused army. Uh, that being um, siege, siege uh, engines like siege towers and rams and ladders and that kind of stuff. Yes, that is what we shall do. We shall do that and we shall be awesome. Right here, what are we doing here? Yeah, we wanted that there, but we can't do that yet. What are we researching? I told you. Oh, we are researching that exact thing. Alright. I think we are gonna go for uh, some income pretty soon eh? Yes we are, we are gonna go for... Is it still called philosophy isn't it? Yeah, philosophy, which is uh, where you will lower uh, corruption and increase taxes, mainly. And culture apparently as well. All good, all good. Right. They totally left Dura undefended so that won't be much of a fight. What if I go over here? Not much either. So, okay, so I have a plan now. What I'm gonna do with this uh, Defenders of YouTube will be go here, take Dora, go all the way up here, and take Hatra, because then we'll have our back clear uh, of enemies. Right now, I'm sure there's uh, many more enemies to come down in the east. But we will have to wait to find out, right? We are pushing. Because we were pushed. Oh, they're gonna attack us, huh? Oh, damn. It's a lot of men, and we don't really have much to hold them off. I will try to flee once. If they catch us, we shall fight them. They will catch us. Right, we shall fight them. A quick save if we crash. Um. Because it tends to. Well, not tends to. It, when it crashes, it's usually uh, when I press fight battle. Obviously, you don't get to see that because then I just delete the entire thing and have to do it all again. But, uh, yeah. Right. What do they have? They have quite a lot of skirmishers, but we still have a decent amount of cav, even though they are not fully restored. Our spears should be able to hold them off if we take out their uh, javelins and slingers. Right. Let's fight that. Let's fight off this Indupid army. Any of destroyers? Oh no. The Radiant Obelisk. That's our army. Oh, this is gonna be a forested map, which... Well, they are attacking. It might play to our advantage. Uh, so we can hide the calf and swing around them fairly easy. But we don't want to spread out the pikes too thin. But we can't... Actually, we kind of have to. Because their army is huge compared to ours. Uh... No, actually, no, it's not, but compared to uh, the amount of melee infantry they have, uh, and what we have, we don't have very much melee infantry. <coughs> and the ones we do have are very static and defensive. Elephants, I'm gonna get you on the right flank. And I'm gonna get all my calf. On the right flank. 
Battle group ready and awaiting orders. You can be called four, you are in melee mode, artillery. Always call them five. Just out of habit. Right, let's start the battle. Send up the calf. See where the enemy is at. Hopefully we will find them fairly soon. Hmm. Well this is our uh no, it's not our fair army. I had in my mind that it was gonna be our fair army, but uh, I was thrown off guard because I was attacked and I ain't attacking myself. Oh here they are. Go go go. They're moving. We're gonna get our calf all the way over here then. Don't want them to get uh, discovered yet. We wanna take it totally by surprise. When okay, we're coming we're just coming in range here. Where's the general? He's right there. Oh they're Royal Pelotas too. That's gonna suck. Don't fire at will my friends. Wait for it. Let's speed it up a little bit here. Go 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 go. As soon as they get in range, I just tell them to fire there. Actually we might might as well go over here. And then we can speed it up a little bit. Oh yes sir. Actually, I really wanted to get good at sniping with these, uh, but as you see, I can see nothing whatsoever. I'm gonna take one shot, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna miss completely because I can't see anything. Yeah, that's a miss. All right, that shall be done when we play on a uh, battlefield with no obstacles uh, in relation to line of sight, anyway. <laughs> But we're targeting targeting the royal protest because one the general is yeah there the, I'm sorry the general is in there and it's royal protest and they're really really good <laughs> we don't want them running into our spears because they might just chop them to little bitty pieces moving up the cap a little more I see they are taking a little bit of distance to us our hidden units have been discovered oh uh, shit okay the line was wider than I remembered we're just moving back hopefully they won't do much about it. Okay, so while their general is hidden, we shall target some of the calf. So that we will avoid too much flanking around. <coughs> Getting close here. Yeah? I think the line is gonna come something like here. Well, we'll fight we'll find out, won't we? Hopefully. Killing off quite a bit of it. Light calf. Shouldn't be much of a problem, but if they charge you in the back, they can deliver a decisive blow, that's for sure. Especially when uh, our men are not of the utmost elite, to say the least. Oh, there's the general. Start targeting him again. So it should be pretty soon that they will start firing. Yup, it's gonna be pretty soon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag oh, them around. I know. See that? That's what we didn't want. We have discovered the enemy's hidden unit. But uh, we'll have to make sacrifices here to make do to make this happen, because uh, there's a lot of them, and we. Need to take out the skirmishes to win this, I think. Our general is under attack. I think that's gonna be key. But uh we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. Just there. What do they have left? Where are all the skirmishes at? Nope, that was not an attack order apparently. Here we go. That's an attack order. Men are wavering. Already wavering, are we? Go on, defense. Let's go. No abilities I can use there. Here we go, let's smash them. Why did we not. Alright then. Go over here, take out all the skirmishes. We are gonna sacrifice our calf to take the skirmishes, I think. That's just gonna be how it is. Well, at least. Quite a lot of our cab is doing okay with it. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Oh shit, I was, I was like, that was fast, my archers used up all this ammo. But they didn't. 
Chao, chao, okay. Ooh, they're cutting through us. What is that? It's just Hillman. Really? Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Elephants to the rescue. Doing the fair thing. All over the enemy. Oh, we're gonna wait with that until they're done doing Stampede. Oh, we actually managed to break the enemy before they uh, broke our... What are they called? Pikemen? Is it just Egyptian Pikemen? Yes! Well, done to them! Good on ya. Killing some slingers off here. Elephant's just clearing out the front line, really. His off. Why haven't we won? Oh, they're wavering most of them. But, uh, not routing. They should not be broken, they should be routing. Right. We go there. Well, they're shattered. Well, we can chase them down anyway, can't we? I don't remember the general dying. Did he die? Where did they go, all those royal pill tests? Well, we shattered them while they were here, so they must be laying here somewhere? I don't know where the royal pill test went. Well, that might be a problem. If they're not fleeing, that is. If they're fleeing, it will be no problem. Don't really know what my Oh, we won. Let's just end the battle there, then. End battle? Yes. Royal Peltas killed zero of them. Well done. Kef, really the reason that we won, I think. Don't know if we could have helped them off without, because uh, all their skirmishes would have wrecked, absolutely destroyed our pikemen, because they have low armor and low uh, shield value. So if the skirmishers would have been allowed to shoot unhindered, that would have cost us a lot of casualties. We managed to do quite a lot to this army. I don't think they will be attacking us any time soon. But it has made us hold for a minute or two, because we can't move in for, for attack now. Okay, we will have to move the army back, I see, because they moved this out here. We'll have to move the army back to Tyros. We're gonna need the elite army up here, because we just can't make do with two armies. Uh, and no defenses. Okay. Moving around. Give me the turn. Right. Priest in rank. Deserved, I would say. Here we go. Or we're going for a tactician, yes. So we can go e either for a... Uh, Night battles, or we could go for this, which will give us an increased replenishment rate. I think we're gonna go for a night battle since the replenishment rate won't matter much since he's already 52 years old. Uh, so maybe we can get it in one night battle. Yeah, uh, before he dies, which would be nice. Oh, damn. Alright. Alright, so Lucas has been uh, thrown completely out of this province. Mr. Pitamia, I think it's called. Sorry if I'm butchering it. <laughs> you have been warned several times. Right, as promised, we shall take Dura now. Um, since we have elephants, I'm gonna have to do it myself. Otherwise, they're just gonna go down to six or four and maybe just die off completely. Um, so we will do it ourselves. But we might just be able to just walk in and slaughter everybody. Maybe I should just send in. Uh, couple of saltmen to get some really good kills for you guys. Like the kill animations. Oh, they're selling out, so it will be a frontal charge then. Right. We shall make do with that. Start deployment. <coughs> I could just place my uh, phalanx in front, but I don't wanna. I wanna get some uh, sword kills going. Why not? This army isn't really a threat to us, so why not have fun with it, eh? Don't run away. What are you guys' opinion on skirmish, I wonder? Because I find that uh, if the AI is controlling the skirmish thing, they ain't fast enough. They just can't do it. They react way too slow to be effective. So what tends to happen when I have people on skirmish anyway is that um, they start to run away when they are hit, or at least so close to being hit by the enemy that it won't matter. It's just, it's just annoying to be honest, so I tend not to use it, but if you guys have other experience with it, please let me know. 
because it might just be me. And maybe they fixed it in some patches, I don't know. Uh, I just gave up, gave up on using it completely. Uh, because I figured, well, I think I can do better most of the time. Obviously, you make blunders every now and then. But um, most of the time, I like to think I uh, can do better than what the AI at least tend to do uh, in the earlier patches. Well, that got confusing. I'm sorry. Just rambling a bit here. Cav all the way out here on the right flank. And you will be called 8, and you will be called 7, and we can then start the battle, can't we? Yes, we can. Right, Ballista, where is... Of course, he's in the pikemen. Well, I didn't really want to shoot at the general for fear that they might break straight away, almost, but, um... I don't want the pikemen there, because they're the only real threat to our elephants. Uh, and actually, just in general, our infantry. If we charge pikes at on, it might hurt, especially when they are in a... A little thicker formation, so they'll have more spears ready. If you spread out your phalanx too thin, it's gonna be way, way easier to break through. Uh, if you just like, yeah, mess up your infantry, I guess. And they'll just push through it. We'll move them away physically. <laughs> With their mass. Oh, I love these Syrian armored elephants. They look so cool. Their head cover is amazing. Pig boo Yeah, I'm five years old. Deal with it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right, we have our uh, Throx Saltman here, ready to die for the Pharaoh, if need be. Hopefully not too many of them will have to uh, honor that agreement, but uh, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? Right, we can take our Camel Spearmen just around the flank, so that they're ready, because they do have a sizable amount of skirmishers, uh, at least for the amount of men they have in total, a lot of them are uh, missile units. Nubian Bowman getting ready. Wow, that looks uh, way more menacing than it should. If they flee, they're dead. <laughs> Don't turn around and run, you're gonna die, boy. Crocodile's awesome as ever. Right, the general is about to go away. The Slingers can shoot on us, uh, well, at us, because our missiles are behind our front, it's behind our front line. But that is okay, I figured we wouldn't lose too many men to Slingers. Actually, let's just move up the front line. Why not make it looking good, hey? Hey, no. We do have spearmen here. It's all good. Just go around. Right. You can just stop shooting. Actually, let's make it look real good. I do like so. Oh, no. Pull out. God damn it. I have a pixel, uh, like an, kind of an HD mod, if you will, for uh, for some things being fire and uh, explosions and that of that nature. Uh, so that is why my fireballs look like that. True story. Right, right into them. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, make them go away. Here we go. We can stop shooting now. Great. Here we go. The lines are gonna clash. And hopefully they're gonna break pretty fast. Yeah, here we go. Wavering already. Some viral so we can see them in the distance here. Let's press K a little bit. I think we just won. Yeah. We must have. Yeah, we did. Well, that was a fast one. End of battle. No need to chase him down, because it is the garrison army. And thus it will die anyway. We lost 14 men, and I was not smart about it. Uh, so, yeah. Not too bad at all. Wow, I didn't think... I didn't know we killed that many of them. But okay, I'll take it. Oh, man. That got bloody. Occupy city, yes. Oh, Persia was coming. Good thing we did it this turn, eh? Right, we do have food already. Might tear that down and build a barrack. 
but that could just be for Antioch, really. Nope, we're gonna build it now, because I find myself lacking a barrack, just to build some basic pikemen and stuff. Because uh, defending a city without pikemen is tends to be way harder than defending a city with pikes. Okay, I'm moving the army back here, moving out this army, so that this army can replenish a little faster. Yes, they replenish faster, don't they? We can move them out. Oh, it didn't change anything. I thought it did. Oh, maybe. Well, I like the pike army in anyway, so they can set up their pikes right away. Unhappiness, because we just took a city, but unfortunately, that is... Unfortunately, that is all I have time for for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. It helps me out greatly. And as always, let the madness loose.